always felt like I was always a Yokohama guy because that's kind of where I lived, Yamato. I always felt like Tokyo was kind of Tsumitai, kind of cold. Yeah. But I didn't live there either. If I'd lived there, I would, I'm sure I would have made friends, right? But I always mm -hmm. thought like the Yokohama, Yamato, Shonan areas were more laid back. People were chill, informal. I always felt a different vibe. I don't know. That was so. And and by the way, it's true. It, I think it's still true today. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And and I think it underscores this thing that I've really become more aware of since I moved back three years ago. I have my experiences with Japan, but everybody has a different one because we 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 bumbled our way into different situations. We didn't associate with exactly the same people mm. and our backgrounds are different and the way we filter things are different right so yeah. like just talking about our experiences here shows that there really isn't one japan it really isn't as monolithic as people want to believe mm. it is maybe there's a tighter bell curve but there's still if you get to know people mm. on an individual basis there's a lot more diversity than you would be led to believe. Oh, yeah, that's true. Groups, right? Mm, yes, even, that's true.